and we are back. So Orion was born James Hodges Ellis. He was born in 1945. He passed away uh, violent, violently in December of 1998. He used the name Orion here. He, it was his uh, shtick. It was his thing that he did. He was a man of mystery. He wore this this little mask. He wore different colors of masks and different types, but his um, his real identity was uh, obscured and hidden for many months and years, and nobody really knew who he was. People thought that he was Elvis Presley back from the dead, and um, Orion, uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Ellis was born in Mississippi or Alabama or Washington, D.C. Nobody's really sure. He's definitely still a man of mystery. Um, he sang in nightclubs. He started in the early 60s, about uh, 1963 or 4. His uh, vocal style and his uh, overall presence was very similar to Elvis Presley, and he kind of hooked up with a lot of the Sun Records people and recorded a lot of Elvis Presley songs. He's um, very well known today, and um, back in 1978, a, a uh, writer, a novelist named Gail Brewer Giorgio published a novel called Orion about a popular singer, and um, this book was based on Elvis Presley. Um, this author, um, Gail Brewer Giorgio, convinced um, Orion to kind of... Um, play up the Elvis uh, image thing, and um, he had a first version of this album called, um, this album is called Reborn. The first cover version of this, the first album cover for this album, featured Orion, a drawing of Orion arising from a coffin. So there was concocted a um, elaborate story that um, Orion had come back from the dead and that he was Elvis and um, this and that. Uh, just a lot of uh, stuff was going on with Orion and uh, he had to continue performing, playing. He uh, hit some hard times. He further changed his name, his stage name, several times and he wound up owning and running a pawn shop, I believe, or a, a jewelry store. I think it was a pawn shop. And um, at some point in 1998, the pawn shop was invaded by uh, uh, some robbers or one robber and Orion and his ex-wife were killed by this, this vicious robber. And so that's only solidified Orion's reputation um, even more. So let's um, get to the album cover here. I'm going to turn on the top light here so we can look at this album a little better. And um, this is sealed. Let me clear out this magic heavenly eight ball and the big headed trolls. I'm going to zoom back to and get this out of the way. So we're just going to strictly look at the album cover right now. Just for, focus on the album cover and um, forget all the the words that I just spoke, um, we've got all the text out of the way. It's our 1,000th episode. We've been on YouTube for one solid year, and this is Orion's album. It's sealed. The original price was $7, I think. And as I said before, this came out with a, a early album cover piece of art. Uh, drawing of Orion arising from a coffin. So let's go. Um, after I bought this album, I found out that it was a color album. It has a color on it, on the vinyl, through the vinyl. The vinyl is a color. And we open this up and we see a kind of an odd, uh, big, huge ad featuring Willie Nelson, David Allen Coe, Carol Channing, Jeannie C. Riley. I didn't know Carol Channing made um, pop records or country records. And here we are on the back. There's Elvis. 
I think this is uh, the Sun catalog at the time. Jerry Lee Lewis, Johnny Cash, the uh, those are the um, million dollar quartet guys. Roy Orbison, Sleepy Labeef. I don't, I've never heard a Sleepy Labeef album. Um, I wonder if Sleepy had a beef with people. And uh, so that's the Sun Records catalog that you could you could buy other records. And let's look at the vinyl here. This is newly opened. This has been in the shrink wrap for um, decades, hundreds of years. It's been wrapped up in cardboard and paper, and it's just amazing. It's really great. Um, it's really nice. Let me get a big piece of styrofoam, and just that'll help. Here's our big piece of styrofoam. That'll help us see the album a little better. It's um really shiny. It's it's a pure gold. It's a very magical gold. There's the Sun Records Orion logo. This came out in 1979. That was a big year for music and culture, politics, and historical viewpoints. And so that's cool. I didn't know this was golden until I bought it or after I bought it. So that's going back in the Sun Records catalog. It's amazing that something like this has been uh, just sealed away in an album cover. And so let's, um, I don't know if we have to, let's take further take off the shrink wrap. I don't think it's necessary to keep the shrink wrap on all the time. And we can put that up there on top of the styrofoam. I'll adjust the lights a little bit. And uh, open the door a little bit. Now we can see Orion clearly. Now, Orion's got a uh, little bit of an attitude there on the cover. Um, you can see he's got his gold chain there. Let me zoom in a little bit. We always like to take care um, when we uh, share our album covers that we want to share. We always make sure that they're at least a little bit straight. There we go. That's better. And that they're well lit, no glare or lights uh, distracting the viewer. So this is a really good view of the Orion album. And in the corner here, it says um, collector's edition. And I think it says gold. That's the color of the vinyl. Here's the kind of off-kilter Sun Records logo, logo, loger, and um, in fact, this whole cover seems a little bit slightly saggy, about 3% saggy towards the right edge. Orion's got a um, really nice logo, an Orion logo. This lettering is just um, exquisite. It's very carefully done. It was done somewhere in an art studio. Um, Orion has a watch. I like people on album covers that have watches. He also has a gold bangle on his wrist. Um, his hands seem um, a little bit weakly posed on his hips. He, um, It's like he wanted to look mean and um, badass, but he just kind of came off looking normal. And he's got the big Elvis collars. Um, his shirt should have been unbuttoned here to reveal more gold chains and chest hair. He's got the Elvis hair, the Orion hair, and a very festive kind of a wrestling match, uh, mask and a wrestling match. So um, the notable thing about this cover is it's almost entirely blue of this, the same shade of blue. It's um, incredible that Orion still shows up. It's, um, it's a masterful photograph from a color sense. And the flip side is a little bit slightly disappointing. It's not as well thought out as the cover. Um, I'm not sure what this uh, huge essay is all about. It um, looks a little bit convoluted. I'm not sure who wrote it. Um, it's uh, some kind of poem and religious thing by um, that author, Gail Brewer Giorgio. I suppose they were trying to um, push the the uh, reincarnation stuff with Orion, and uh, this is from her. 
this author's book. And um, here's the track list here. Uh, Honey, Mona Lisa, Ebony Eyes, and um, just kind of slightly off classic uh, songs. This is a Sun International Corporation production recorded at Singleton Sound Studios in Nashville. This album cover art is by Betty M. Cherry, and I'm not sure if it's still in existence, but you can join the Orion fan club right here. I can hold the light and a record cover at the same time. And here's kind of a, looks like a tombstone with Orion on it and um, flowers, which is kind of sad um, considering how his life ended and his ex-wife's life lives ended, how their lives ended. But um, you can still listen to and buy Orion music products. All of Orion's albums are on Bandcamp for free. I think it's all of his albums. And you can buy merchandise and more records. And he's still quite the, the not the cult figure. He's slightly above being a cult figure. And um, there was a documentary made about Orion and his life with um, a lot of great footage. This was about nine years ago. I'll fetch the name of that documentary. It's really worth seeing. And um, Orion came off, uh, Jimmy Ellis came off as being very intelligent, a little naive, a little lost, but um, overall in control. He was a great singer. There's a lot of footage in this documentary of him singing. So there we have it. It's our thousandth episode, and I know it's our thousandth because it's on a lost post-it note here somewhere. There it is. If it's on a post-it note, it's got to be true. So let's celebrate our episode 1000 and our one-th year anniversary of from April 2023 to April 2024. A thousand videos in one year averages out to about um, 90 a month, I think.